that's an Olympic level jump. This is a common flea, the same creature that took out nearly one third of Europe's population. And with rising temperatures, you're gonna see a lot more of these pesky itch hikers. Should you be scared of these tiny parasites? Why does hotter weather bring in more fleas? What disease can fleas spread? And how can they jump so high? Are you itching for answers? We've got them all. There are over 2,500 known species of fleas that infest mammals everywhere. If you stick a flea under a microscope, you'll see a flat, brown, wingless body equipped with spines and a sharp, tube-like proboscis or stylet near its mouth. The spines help the flea latch onto hair shafts and resist coming off when an animal is groomed. A flea uses its stylet to pierce its host's skin and suck blood. Cats, dogs, sheep, and rats all host specialized species of fleas. But fleas are not very strict about these categories. A dog flea may bite a human, and cat fleas will happily infest a dog. Fleas effectively carry diseases. When a flea bites an infected animal, pathogens can hitch a ride on the flea's saliva to find their next victim. Flea saliva has a special brew of molecules that make some pathogens' lives easier. These molecules increase blood flow and suppress immune responses in fleas' hosts. Infected fleas tend to bite more often as the bacteria block their digestive systems so they feel hungry all the time. If flea poop carrying a pathogen touches humans or if an infected flea bites us, we can get diseases including mouse typhus, rickettsia felis, or spotted fever. Fleas can also carry tapeworms, great. But the worst flea-borne disease people have suffered is the plague. The bubonic plague wiped out almost one-third of Europe's population in the 14th century. Fleas carried the Yersinia pestis bacterium from infected rats to people. Headache, fever, and swollen lymph nodes appeared within a week of infection, and victims would die in another week. With upgraded public health care systems and the discovery of antibiotics, plague pandemics are a thing of the past. Today, rare instances of the plague happen in tropical and rural areas where people are in constant contact with large rodent colonies. More often, the worst a flea bite can do is cause you an itchy lesion or a hypersensitive reaction. Pet and livestock owners are more likely to come in contact with fleas. It helps to have your pets vaccinated and wash or change their bedding regularly. In your home, only 5% of fleas live on your pet. The rest are flea eggs and larvae in the animal's living area. Thoroughly vacuuming your house will help take care of infestations. But remember that fleas grow and multiply incredibly fast, especially in warm, humid conditions. A single female flea can lay up to 2,000 eggs through her two-month life. Newly hatched larvae reach adulthood within a month or two. But during a heat wave, larvae will grow into adults in as little as three weeks. Higher humidity also helps them. Dry weather can be fatal for flea larvae. Aha! We got you now, fleas. We found your kryptonite. But otherwise, it doesn't take much for this tiny critter to survive. A rapidly growing flea larva feeds on a highly, um, nutritious diet of dead skin, organic debris, and a generous helping of its parent's poop. Ugh. A flea larva has no stylet to suck blood with. An adult flea's poop retains 90% of the blood protein content, and there's plenty of it to go around. The adults are voracious eaters. They feed for up to two and a half hours at a time. And they eat so fast that they need to defecate at the same time and constantly. It sounds like my friend's baby. Once they reach adulthood, fleas are ready to jump ship if needed. And it's no ordinary jump. Fleas can jump about 18 centimeters vertically and 33 centimeters sideways. That's 50 times their height 
If you could do that in proportion to your body size, you'd be jumping up about 76 meters and 137 meters sideways. And all this happens in a millisecond. That's a hundred times faster than you blink your eye. But fleas have tiny legs and no muscles to speak of. So how do they do this? Fleas have a flexible arched part in their exoskeleton that they bend and release like a catapult. It's called a pleural arch, and its spring-like action flings the flea's tiny body into the direction of its choice. Are you itching for more creepy crawly videos? Check out our episode about how super lice are mutating because of COVID-19, jumping 50 times their height, and eating their parents' poop is what fleas do. And that's why they are crazy creatures.